Hey guys and welcome back to the Maybelline Makeup Loft. My name is Bronte. Today for a Halloween tutorial I am going to be doing something I like to call Death by Highlighter. So let's get straight into it. With my foundation already on I am going to be doing my eyes using the Total Temptations palette and combining these two neutral brown tones directly into my crease. Then I'm going ahead and spraying the Master Fix Setting Spray onto a flat brush and using the gold eyeshadow and gold highlighter from the same palette and applying that onto my lid starting in the corner of my eye and then rounding it into my crease as you can see and then building that colour up a little bit. And then I go ahead and blend my crease again using the same brush as before and I just applied a little bit more of the brown on the outer corner. Then I applied more brown on the lower lash line about halfway across and grabbed a little bit of gold using this pointy brush also on my lower lash line and into my inner corner. Then for bronzer, I'm using the Master Contour Palette and obviously the bronzing shade, applying that directly onto my cheeks, into my temple and then also around on my forehead just to sort of create a little bit more definition. For highlight, I'm using my go-to highlighter Master Chrome in Molten Gold and using my fan brush, applying that to the tops of my cheeks quite a lot obviously because it's death by highlighter also putting that on my cupid's bow and my eyebrows to highlight and my nose then I'm just going to apply a little bit of mascara to my top lashes now onto the Halloween part I'm using this empty master strobing liquid container I'm taking off the lid and then I grab some scissors to cut it in half and then I cut the back off so that it could lay more flat and then sort of, as you can see, making sure that it's clean on the inside because I got a bit of highlight on my face because it wasn't clean. Um, and then you can use whatever you want, but I tend to use like liquid latex or even eyelash glue. And then I applied that and then stuck the container onto my face and then applied a bit more to the end. And then I tried to dry it with my hands, but I ended up using a hair dryer to really dry it down. Then I grabbed some, you can use toilet paper or tissue paper and grabbed thin layers of that and started applying that to the bottom where I want the cut to be just to sort of make the wound a bit more, have a bit more depth. And then I applied a little bit more liquid latex over the top and while I waited for that to dry, it is best to wait for it to dry for a little bit. So I applied um, the Vivid Hot Lacquer Liquid Lip and it is just in the colour 72 Classic, a real classic red colour and then once that was dry I went back on to the cut and I grabbed some tweezers and sort of lifted up the tissue a little bit just to create that wound effect because you always put the darkest part under the tissue and then I am just using a bunch of different liquid lipsticks as you can see so I'm going to be using 85 Protector and also 50 Voyager and these are the Superstay Matte Inks and I just use a tiny little brush and then applying that underneath the tissue to sort of create that wound effect. For the skin effect, I covered the tissue with my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation in 300. Then onto more of the wound, I also used the Maybelline Dream Matte Blush and this is like a burgundy flush 80 and then I sort of just started applying that over where I put the foundation and then I also grabbed the 72 Classic as more of a ready tone. Just sort of layering up those liquid lips and that cream blush just to sort of create more of a messy wound effect. And then I go grab some coagulated blood. You don't need to do this, this just, just adds a little bit of extra effect and it sort of deepens the wound up a little bit more. So I just applied that on the wound. Then I grabbed the highlighter, which was the Master Strobing Liquid um, from that container and I applied that around my neck, trying to create more of like a bleeding, dropping effect using this color. I kind of like the gold tone better, but I'm just using the iridescent pearly tone here. And then I also applied that on my lip and then on my face as if it was like pouring out of my face, the highlighter and the blood, if that makes sense. I wanted to go for more of a cut neck effect, so I'm going back using the liquid latex and sort of creating that half round around my neck and then I'm applying again more like tissue toilet paper um, over that as well and just building and layering that up a little bit and I just grabbed my Maybelline Superstay 24 hour full coverage foundation um, in 28 soft beige to put that over the top. Created a bit more of a split with the tweezers as you can see I'm just going back in with the Maybelline 24 hour um, black 
like gel eyeshadow just to create more of a deep cut and then going back in with the burgundy blush that I used before and then I'm just sort of blending that with this brush over the top of all the tissue where I just covered it in with foundation just to really just create more of a messy effect and using the same liquid lipsticks that I used before in 50 Voyager and then also 85 Protector and really putting the really deep colors into the cut of the neck and then adding that really bloody red in the Vivid Hot Lacquer in 72 Classic. Then sort of using the direct brush from the liquid lip over where the tissue is just to sort of create that real bloody messy effect and just really layering that up. Obviously you don't need to use the exact applicator. Um, and then you, then I also use the coagulated blood here too where the deep cut is meant to be. Just again, just to make it a little bit more dramatic. Also use this like thinner sort of stage blood and just sort of poured it over the top of the cut so that you could get that more dripping blood effect which you could get with like water and red dye I guess and then sort of using a brush to blend in the highlighter just adding a bit more highlighter and then pulling the blood a bit down a bit more and the red from the liquid lip down a bit more so it's sort of more blended in. And then that was all for today. I hope you guys liked this video. I hope it was something different, a death by a highlighter. I mean, we all love a bit of highlighter sometimes. So I hope you really enjoyed this and let us know in the comments below what you thought and let us know what you're gonna do for Halloween. And hopefully we will see you all very, very soon. Bye guys.